Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the month of July for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. Please like and share these videos. Thumbs up and set your notification on so that when I upload videos, you can receive it. I am wishing you guys really a wonderful month because it's the month of the sun. So this is going to be positive for you Aquarians. So the light beams and angels are all here. So we're calling up on the light beams and angels for only the Aquarians to show them what is coming out in the month of July. The third quarter readings are up. So please go and check that out and please do the on demand. And it's because there are more messages with the on demand that can help you guys. Okay, I can't do an hour video because I have so many videos to upload, okay? Um, and that's why I made it just $1.99. I'm seeing people selling their videos for $7 and it's totally ridiculous and renting it for $7, which is totally ridiculous. So $1.99 is just a cup of coffee, okay? So let's look and see definitely what is happening for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for the month of July. This month is five weeks, ladies and gentlemen, five weeks. So let's see for the first week of July, what's coming up. Um, this is the energy of the hurt energy. So this is an alignment of unbalance that is going to be coming through. But this is also the transformation and the ending of the issue. Um, that is transpiring. I'm seeing a new beginning. So some of you could be beginning a new job. You have ended in um, your old job and beginning a new job. Um, I don't know. In the general reading, check out the general reading because this came up in the general reading where you have this energy that is coming in with the energy of uh, um, uh, the star. So this is good for you, Aquarian. The second week is going to be a very good week for you, Aquarians, because the energy of the star is the energy of hair. So this is going to be fantastic. Then we have a transition coming in the third week. This is a center energy, and this is a transition of an ending coming in. So there could be um, a situation that has ended, and um, there's an healing and a transition from this healing. So whatever that situation was, that was a negative situation that uh, has taken place where people has used their power in whatever way to devastate, to be a devastation in someone's life or um, in the lives of others. It could be you also. And there's a judgment call that is coming out. There is definitely a judgment call that is coming out. So. Um, this energy uh, of judgment is, is energy of information breakthroughs about a situation or the truth could be coming out against an energy because um, the energy of the devil it was in uh, um, people and st people who have tried to do something it could be you or it could be someone because um, it could be affecting you guys because I'm seeing the before dealing the judgment call against someone who have done something so it could be you guys it depends on how the cookie falls and who you are and what has transpired so we have we begin um the month with the hurt energies then we um we have your air energies so the second week is going to be good first week and second week is going to be good third week fourth week and fifth week we gotta see what is coming up but i would say the first week and second week is going to be very good for you guys because i'm not seeing this alignment of energies so you guys have hurt hair water fire and water okay so there is two emotional weeks and it's going to be the third week and uh, um the fifth week so it doesn't really have to be in the order it could be that you guys get it different because it's different energies different people different situations so be aware and aligned with these energies okay so let's um see what is definitely coming up for the aquarian sun moon and rising and the second week going in the third week we have the Ace of Pentacles that is, is um, happening. Um, 
uh, second week going into the third week let's see what's happening for the first week going in the second week we have the energies of a lot of offers a lot of dreaming a lot of people dreaming because you could be on vacation but I'm seeing a lot of effort a lot of offers that is coming up a lot of opportunities that is going to be opening then we have the energy of uh, um, um, the energy of temperance in reverse okay whatever that energy is the temperance is in reverse so some of you need to find balance okay some of you definitely need to find balance with an issue and a situation because it's as if some of you are thrown out of walk okay out of balance I'm seeing whatever the the, the deceptive that you or someone has tried is not going to happen it has fall through because here I'm seeing here in um, the third week there is the devil the fourth week I'm seeing a judgment call and this didn't happen so that is good so whatever you or someone else that was trying to do that was deceptive it didn't work because I'm seeing a judgment call on whatever the deceptiveness was it's not happening okay um so first week and second week is very good because a lot of doors a lot of opportunities a lot of positive situations are going to be coming in first week and second week wonderful energies wonderful positive energies which is going to be happening then we have the energy of um uh, this is uh, this is really um the star energy so money is going to be flowing in it's going to be a start for a new start for your financial so let's say that you weren't working for a time or let's say um, your business wasn't doing well for a time or let's say money was a little tight it, it's, it's going to be um, changing but there is a um, there is an issue here because I'm seeing that some of you try to do something deceptive and um, it didn't work out okay so be careful because if you're a salesman and you're trying to do something deceptive or um, you work in a sales institute see, it's it's not going to be working out okay because um, whatever you try to do is as if you're going to be caught okay so let's see what the energy of the star is bringing in for the Aquarian Sun Moon horizon for July energy of the star is bringing in some financial stability which is um, very good so the energy of the star this is uh, more money coming in because I did see that there was a transformation and the ace of Pentacles so more money is definitely going to be coming in then what we see is that this is the end there is the end of an issue that is coming in and that's why the energy um, so definitely transformation but the end of an issue is here so um, your central and meaning of this uh, month it is definitely that something is definitely ending then we have here no messages from um, what whoever um, that was um, you know arresting you because some of you were being arrested or you were arresting someone and this arrestment is over because it's as if they have called the people who was arresting you or if you were the one who were arresting someone else you are being caught okay then we have the energy of the ace of Pentacles and that is in the second week going in the third week and we have the latest 45 years and older so you latest 45 years and older if you were having an issue with money and that sort of a thing this issue is definitely going to be resolved so um, there is no worries um, and you're going to be ending because it's as if you guys had gotten yourself in some really deceptive situation um, that was going on and you have gotten yourself in this and it's definitely going to be ending out again the conflicts is going to be over whatever the conflicts is and was um, whatever the deceptiveness with the energy of at the ego the ego based people and situation that you had to deal with um, it the conflict is going to be over in the fourth week it can be the third week going in the fourth week um, that um, you're finding 
um, balance again okay so what a month you Aquarians and I know July is gonna be a month for so much people July is definitely going to be a month for so much people so what is the outcomes for the month of July for the Aquarians you have a strong foundation there is going to be a lot of um, parties there's going to be a lot of celebration whatever the issue was that was transpiring there's going to be changes there's going to be new houses so some of you could be buying new houses some of you could be connecting with the alignment of positive energies where if you were wanting to buy a new house if you're a lady 45 years and older you wanted to buy a new house this is definitely going to be happening so wow wonderful um wonderful alignment of energies um that is transparent so let's recap each week's as we go along and remember this is a general reading so the energy does not have to um the energies doesn't have to basically coincide um with um what you are reading or what you are doing so the energy doesn't really have to coincide um, with that because whatever the situation is and whatever the issues is this is all going to be coming out so the energy doesn't have to basically coincide um, with this okay it can for because it's a general reading it can happen for some of you in different timelines okay because remember that you were born in different timelines so let's see what is happening so in the first week what we have is that an ending to an issue we are having some positive new beginnings this is a, as if uh, um, some of you have gotten out of uh, some issues situation relationship and there's new offers it could be um the end of really and the end of vacation um you're having new offers you're changing work you're looking for new opportunities there's going to be a lot of new opportunities coming up these opportunities are going to help you to make a lot of money i'm seeing financial stability coming back in people's life and um, um for a lady um the latest 45 years and older um this could be um, really really positive for you because uh, um, whatever the financial stability that is coming in for you it is going to give you a new start to get and uh, to buy a house okay um, definitely I'm seeing positive energy um, with a lot of you ladies uh, some of you could be changing work and uh, yeah by changing your workplace this is just going to bring um, more abundance in your life uh, a higher paid um, um, issue for the men it is um, for the men it is going to be very good um, uh, as well as the women um, I'm seeing if you're changing work it's, it's going to be um, very good um, for you guys also because the stability is here in the second week um, we we have a really positive week um, for you Aquarians um, because in the second week what we're dealing with is that um, the new offers of opportunity that is going to come in is going to bring you guys uh, some wonderful new beginning with your financial um, sector okay wonderful new okay you Aquarians there was a break so we're getting back to where we was so um what has been happening is that um whatever is happening in the second week for you aquarians i'm seeing really wonderful energies is coming up because money is going to be coming out especially for the ladies 45 years and older as we're going in the third week what i'm seeing is that for some of you who didn't get it in the second week there is definitely money um, issues but there is going to be a new start so um, not to worry about it and um, you're trying to find in a balance okay your balance is off whatever is transpiring with your financial 
um, issues this is affecting some of you in the third week okay so it could be um, that some of you are dealing with um, a Scorpio um, that should pay you um, and some of you could be dealing with a Virgo in a relationship but I'm seeing that you're deciding um, that this situation has ended so whatever the issue or situation was the transformation is um, ending something it is the ending of something and you are moving forward or you're going to be deciding to move forward because whatever this ending is um, it's as if uh, and conflict is now over okay whatever the ending in is as if a conflict is now over and uh, you are looking to move forward as we look at the fourth week the fourth week we have some ego based situations or people that you have to deal with and this is why you're you you need to balance out whatever is happening okay because you're dealing with some ego based people and you really really need to balance out whatever the situation is or this issue is um, because someone it could be you or someone that um, tried to do some um, deceptive move which this could be um, a Gemini that you're dealing with that is being very egos ego ego based person um, that you're dealing with a situation because some deceptive um, they tried to do something deceptive but it didn't work out and uh, some of you are waiting for some news but this news um, didn't come in um, it's not coming in until maybe in the month of August okay this news is not coming in until in the month of August now the last and final week is that there are information that is going to be coming out okay so whatever is transpiring is that if you have to try to do something deceptive the last and final week um, there is no news coming in okay so if you were waiting on news in the last and final week it's not coming in the message is that um, the conflict is now over okay so if you were looking for a big win you Aquarians it's not going to be happening um, because of a situation where it could be you were at fault um, for a lot of you there is going to be you're going to be um, for a lot of you it's, it's, it's as if there is going to be an issue with house if there was some conflicts at your house because you're going to be resolving this if there was some conflicts with a house situation you're going to be resolving this if there was some conflicts at home whatever has to do with a house based situation because this is um, um, stability your foundation um, this is going to be resolved okay so um, this is wonderful so um, let's look and see um, what three um, other energies is going to be coming out um, because your month is going to be a month of uh, the end of an issue okay so whatever is happening um, your month is going to be the end of an issue so you Aquarians were dealing with an issue and now it has ended so it is really the end of the issue i'm going to try and write these down i don't think um uh it's essential but um i stop using um you know certain information because um i was realizing that it wasn't affecting everyone because each and every person is under a different thing so i'm going to do it this month and see how um, and see how this is going to be turning up I don't want a folder why is there a folder yeah um, so we're going to see how this is ending up so we're going to be doing July and for 
you Aquarians Aquarians we're going to be having um, a and to a issue okay an end to an issue okay so um, for you Aquarians it's gonna be a month of the end of an issue and you're moving um, and you're moving forward okay and to an issue um, choosing to move forward choosing to move forward so that is going to be um, what is happening for you guys okay so that is good so let's see what um, what messages is coming out for the Aquarians so what is the message to, is the energy of the Sun so there's a healing is coming in for you Aquarians whatever the issue is or was there is definitely an healing that is coming out for you Aquarians this is wonderful and this is good because it's bringing positive energies and you have the energy of radiating gold light and taking decisive action so some of you get this and I've been guided to do the two energy so <laughs> you can choose one of these cards okay and this is card one card two if you choose this card it is Issa and it is I face my challenges with calm and strength so some of you whatever the challenge is you're going to be um, um, you know working with it on in calm and strength and this is the energy of the Sun that says I radiate, radiate golden light and take decisive action I radiate golden light and take decisive action so um, these are two positive energies again we are choosing from the deck of uh, the light workers and you may choose one of these cards this is card one and this is card two and with card one you have the heart transformation so there's definitely a transformation that is going to be coming in and however way this transformation comes in you need to find out how because these same messages are going to be coming back for the extended reading to find out how are you going to do in this art translation it is the number 10 energy then we have a shift of paragon a paragon shift that is going to be happening and transpiring so card two was a paragon shift so for whoever choose card two you're going to be having a paragon shift in your life which meaning that things transformation are definitely going to be ha happening and that is the number four energies the angels um, the angels energy then we have the activation so this is card one and this is card two card one activation we have number 30 and it is integration and it says integration supports the embracing of every aspect of ourself allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to be harmonized in balance okay so this is really really um, wonderful and positive you can always stare on it and it will activate you the other energy um, the card 2 is 26 which is 8 empowerment and it says the empowerment support the abilities to show up fully completely um, uniting ourselves with the conjure of deeper trust that we all connected through the same source okay so this is also another activation for the people who has chosen card two so these are wonderful energies you can always stop this video and choose to use which one what whichever one of the activation the ones you have chosen is the one that is going to be working with you so let's look at um your numbers um <laughs> so strange well we have eight we have eight of Pentacles and uh, 26 which is eight eight of Pentacles 26 which is eight so we are carrying um, you guys are carrying the number eight energies and the number seven so seven and eight is going to be your energy vibration 
7, 8, and 10. 7, 8, and 10 is going to be your energy vibration for this month. And I want to say um, namaste until next time.